Hi, I'm Alex. Let's talk about banks, specifically central banks. Believe it or not, they're really important to our everyday lives. Central banks manage the flow of money in a country's economy, so things don't go haywire. They're typically part of the government, although they should operate independently. The specific roles of central banks vary from country to country, but they usually have a few key responsibilities. Mainly, they're in charge of monetary policy to keep prices stable. One way they do this is through what's called the interest rate, which is the cost of borrowing money. Central banks lower interest rates, making credit cheap to boost the economy. Because when credit to buy things, such as homes, food, and cars gets cheaper, people tend to buy more. And who doesn't love that? But when prices get too high, central banks can raise rates, making money more expensive to borrow. This can slow growth, but it also brings down prices. Central banks also buy and sell foreign currency. They can do this to weaken or support the value of their own currency. Stability isn't just about keeping prices steady. That's why central banks also play a key role in preserving financial stability. For example, if a commercial bank is in trouble, a central bank can give them a loan, but only as a last resort. Central banks have been using all of these tools to help keep things stable for hundreds of years. Okay, so why am I telling you this? Well, whether you're buying bread or a pomegranate or even starting a business, that stability is important for all of us. And here at the IMF, a big part of our job is providing policy advice that can help central banks all over the world meet their price and financial stability goals.